All right, some people have been asking about how you use a Dremel to uh, take care of your dog's nails. Uh, a couple things you're going to need. You have a Dremel. The, uh, I'm trying to zoom in on here so you can see this thing. Just a regular plug in Dremel. Uh, you get a corset paper. If I got, I'm using uh, 240 grit. And uh, these will usually last you about a good month or two apiece, depending on how many dogs you have to do. And what you do is you essentially just take off the, the tips of, of the, the nail. Now, dogs will have either, they might have clear nails or they might have black nails. Black nails are harder and a little bit more difficult, and you have to pay attention because you can't see the quick. Whereas the clear nails, you can kind of see how far you're going back so you don't go too far. Um, Plug-in ones, I think, are better because you're not going to have that loss of power as the battery starts to drain because when it slows down on a rotation, that can actually uh, do more, more problems and cause more pain for the dog. Um, I have this one set, I think it goes up to, uh, to a 30 uh, on the setting. I have it set to 25. Um, just bear in mind, it's sandpaper, so high speed on that one. You don't want to hold it there because it'll, it'll put heat on there and, and that could actually cause your dog discomfort. But also doing it this way, inevitably, with the little bit of heat that is generated, may cause the quick to recede a little bit. So you won't, I mean, it'll eventually withdraw a little bit from within the nail, and it won't be as bad. Uh, I take care of, of my dogs roughly about every two weeks or so, is usually when I do it, or when I start hearing the, the click, click, click on the floors. Uh, the couple things you're going to need, obviously, is the Dremel. I always make sure I have couple treats handy and of course your dog if you got a screamer uh, my advice is if they start screaming just stop using the Dremel and hold them still don't let them down because now they've just had a challenge to you and they've learned that if they scream loud enough you'll let them go and of course the other thing you need oh is your puppy okay this is Itachi he's 10 months old and he's been doing pretty good with us he's got the clear nails and we're just going to do a quick take off the top. This again will be a little bit easier because we're outside, it's sunny out, and he's got the clear nails so I can kind of see. So all you do, and also if they have apprehension to it, don't go instantly to the nails. So you turn it on, and then maybe hold it a little bit to their stomach so they can feel the vibration in it, and so they're not as scared. Hold on, buddy. It's okay. Come on, sit back. Good boy. Okay. Okay. You see his legs start to relax. He's okay. Come on, bud. And you just hold it with one hand. I use the other hand to brace so I don't go too far. And push the button. And you just take off the tips. And any sharp edges that you leave around there. So. Hold on, bud. They might squirm a little bit, but as long as you hold them still, Decent, it won't take very long. And as you can see, he's fine. No screaming. Now your dog may have tickle his feet to where they might flinch a little bit more. You just gotta be careful that you're not taking the, the sandpaper to other areas on some of the end toes. Okay, one paw. Let's go, bud. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't like sitting like this all the time. So if you have to readjust, then you just you put the Dremel down, hold them for a second, so he stops squirming. Sit him down to where he's facing away and reposition. Hold on, buddy. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. And always reassure him. Once they understand it's okay, they'll be fine. They hold still for that. Sometimes you'll get Shiba Jiu Jitsu when they'll try to wrestle and grapple with it. Just, again, always just be aware of where that Dremel is spinning is at.
something else is always kind of much for the like the sediment flies off of there. I know we don't like stuff in our eyes, they don't either, so just be careful. After every one, I give him a little bit of second to readjust so it's not overly scary to him. Come on, you're fine. Hey, hey, this one. Good boy. Good boy. Now, some dogs might have ticklish feet, which Itachi does on his, his back leg. So, you gotta watch because they'll kick sometimes, just because they tickle, not because they're trying to get loose necessarily. Again, it's important to get sharp edges off of there, so that way they're not scratching themselves in the face and hurting themselves. You just kind of round it off at the end if you can. All right, last pot, kiddo. Let me get that pot. Tachi, stay. 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 All right, we'll jump this way. Normally, well, you're not squirming to get loose, and your feet are going to move a little bit. This isn't exactly the best position for them, but this is how you got to hold them if you're going to do it yourself. You can also have, if you live with someone, have them hold them, and you just, that way they can control the dog while you swim the nails down a little bit. That's it. Four paws done. Now, last but not least, I'll set the Dremel down before I sit him down. Oh, it's a good boy. Always treat your dog. When he understands that doing this is going to result with treat later on, then they're more likely to comply with it. They know they're going to get rewarded for it and always reward them when they're done. So that way, they're not afraid of it as much. They know it treats at the end. Uh, Hope you enjoyed our demonstration. Thanks so much. Have a good day.